During World War II, two secretive, massive projects were racing to end the war, each with an astronomical price tag. One of them, the Manhattan Project, would give birth to the atomic bomb, costing $1.9 billion. But here's the shocking part. The bomb wasn't the most expensive project of the war. The true financial giant was the B-29 Super Fortress Bomber, a plane that drained $3 billion, more than the bomb itself. Why did a single plane cost more than a weapon that could end entire cities? The B-29 wasn't just any aircraft. It was the most advanced bomber ever created, designed to fly higher, carry heavier payloads, and travel farther than anything before it. But making it work was no small feat. Nearly 4,000 B-29s were produced, each costing around $620,000, an enormous amount in the 1940s. But the real costs weren't just in production. Millions more went into research, testing, and modifications to turn it into a nuclear-capable machine. These silver plate B-29s were purpose-built to carry the atomic bomb. Meanwhile, the Manhattan Project faced its own impossible task, developing a weapon that no one knew would even work. Entire secret cities, Oak Ridge, Hanford, and Los Alamos, were created to produce uranium, plutonium, and a new breed of scientists. Uranium enrichment alone cost $1.2 billion, plutonium another $390 million, and research another $143 million. So, how did the B-29 end up costing more? It's a complicated story. Wartime accounting made tracking expenses a nightmare. The costs blurred between projects, especially when it came to the B-29's nuclear modifications and remote launch sites like Tinian Island. In the end, both projects drained billions, but only one would change the world forever. The B-29 and the bomb were locked in a race, with history on the line. 